it is time. Okay, so we're listening to uh, Nights on Broadway by the Bee Gees. Uh, I recently watched the uh, documentary uh, that was on HBO about these guys, and I just kind of fell down the rabbit hole. And, um, you know, like I grew up, my parents were both like, my parents both loved the early Bee Gees, like pre-disco stuff. Um, and which, yeah, I think a lot, I think a lot of, a lot of the boomers were of the opinion of, you know, the early Bee Gees were amazing, but the disco stuff was kind of lame, you know, or whatever. Um, but, you know, I, I think it's all, I think all of it's pretty great. You know, I mean, oh, yeah. you know, so, so, but, you know, I think generally it's all pretty great. And uh, this tune, you know, I, I didn't know this song uh, prior to, to my, my watching of this documentary. And it just fucked me up. I was like, dude, you gotta be, you gotta be kidding me with these guys you know it's just it's just they're just fucking weird and cool and and yeah. you know they did something just i i think unique with, with it's kind of like the thing of we're talking about how like dance music can be junk food mm -hmm. but like these guys were real dudes you know like, these were real songwriters these weren't you know just like this wasn't bullshit. These guys really knew what they were doing, and these guys were great at, at writing melody and and, and right and, uh, and and they just applied it to fucking disco because yep. that's what was going on at the time. Yep. And uh, yeah, but anyway, this tune is just it's just fucking hilarious, man. It's it's just it's so good and like the falsetto shit at the end is like I, don't know, I think it's I think it's just awesome. It's a great tune. Well, let's get on into it. The Bee Gees, Nights on Broadway here in Galaxy Jams Reacts. Yeah, I think this is where they debuted this logo, too, was this album. It's just like the soundtrack to, like, cocaine. Yeah, oh, yes. that's how like the Bee Gees are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a hot logo, though, for real. Hell yeah. Standing in the dark. Where your eyes can see me. Well, I had to follow you. Though you did not want me to. I won't stop my love you. I love their harmony. It's so good. I like, get so fucked up, dude. Oh my god, I love that synth. Amazing. 
I love the Bee Gees. Have you, do you know a lot about the Bee Gees? My dad really likes them a lot. Ah. My parents are huge fans yeah. of the Bee Gees, too. But, but I don't know a lot of their music. Go I, on, Kai. I, no, I've been listening to them a lot more lately mm-hmm. because one of the singers in our band really loves them because oh, yeah, he grew up with them, too. So we've been hearing I've actually never heard this song before, and it is hot. Like It yeah. has everything. It has it's the, sick. It's so it's good. Like sick. It has the tension notes and the chords, like those, those epic tension notes, and then it has... Uh, some really thick harmonies, which again said in the beginning, I I dig it. So, uh, really really cool pick, Tom. Yeah, I think that this song will go on. Tom, fucking funny. Are you are you guys are you guys looking at the visuals? Also, yes. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You you couldn't get an undershirt on these fucking. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, this is what. Hey, we're the BGs. We have fucking falsettos yes. and chest hair. Oh that's yeah. What we fucking oh yeah. For okay, sure. that's what we're. And that's probably what we're providing to the party. And probably mountains of cocaine. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's just like, hey, wear the jacket, but I'm not wearing anything underneath it. <laughs> yeah. I was about that's to say hilarious. when it when it was down at the chest hair and coming up, you didn't see people's faces. At first, I thought it was a picture of Mike. <laughs> he has a chest hair like that too. Nice. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I really, really like how this song it snuck up on me. You know, at first it sounded like deep and dirty, and I'm like, oh, okay, like they're getting deep, you know. But then the more like the song kept going on, the more I'm just like, oh my god, like they're taking me to this like Bee Gees place, you know, where it's like this hip yeah. happening, groovy like thing. Mm-hmm. And it's like I really, really like a band that can make me feel, you know, like a certain aesthetic, like mm-hmm. always, like I can count on them to do certain things right mm-hmm. and i feel like they're a really really good band they can throw on for a party and i feel like they're just i know that they're like world famous and everything but especially nowadays i feel like they're criminally underrated yeah there's a lot of pushback because of the disco thing you know mm-hmm. um i think and uh, but yeah man they're they were they were incredible songwriters they really were they were great songwriters and you know uh, if you go be pro you know prior to this record like when they before they got into the disco stuff mm-hmm. i mean you know songs like to love somebody in massachusetts oh, yeah. they, i mean they're just they're just great fucking songs man and the and the fact that they're able to do that thing where they're brothers so their voices are all pretty pretty identical yeah uh-huh. and to be able to do a thing where they're all in the same melody and mm-hmm. then they fan yeah into yep. those fucking huge chords it's right. just man there's not a lot of there's not a lot of singing groups that are that can do that right. you know i mean wow. there's it's the beatles csn mm-hmm. the Bee Gees. you know mm-hmm. i mean it's like it's a pretty it's a pretty short fucking list of of bands that can sing like that that can just three people can walk up to a microphone and just make do that. everything yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely and they have that that signature bg's falsetto like tone to their voice mm-hmm. that that even though other people are singing in falsetto singing super high notes you know it's the bg's as soon as that tone comes in oh yeah it's so good mm-hmm. well i mean they've been singing yeah, they, were, is... they were like a kids they were like a, a, a singing group like a family singing group I and mean, they were doing it when oh. they were really young yeah, yeah. and yeah. that's that's yeah. Why and one reason why their voices can are kind of melded together, you know, they know they they can easily like do the harmonies off each other because they've just been doing it for so long, you know, by this point. Yeah, something about having and I talk about this sometimes like, I, like having family members in your band is like cheating because it's like it's a lot <laughs> yeah. harder to break up because it's easy to like have your life path be on the same as like someone that's related to you right mm-hmm. so it's an easier ask for you to like live your life on the road or like be in this band together and then also it's like again it's like you have like the the the, the blood relative thing where it's like they probably like telepathically communicate together you know like while they're performing and while they're writing and things like that able to put things together and uh you know man three brothers just together in a band that all can sing and all can write and uh it just wasn't fair <laughs> no one stood a chance you know i'm I jealous great mike's jealous <laughs> you shouldn't be jealous uh, of the hair you got more on them let's get to this bridge dude they're good they're about to break it down for us let's do it I will wait. all right come on uh-huh. take me chest hair <laughs> All of it. <laughs> Got the slow vibrato from the 80s. I love it. <laughs> 
so awesome. This falsetto so good. They just know their place. Like each of the voices knows exactly where to go. Where they each hit like a different registry that kind of like makes this like whole wall of just like Man. you know going to church. Very so solid. good. What an awesome pick. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was uh, an epic know. one, Tom. We really, really appreciate Thanks. it. Hi, this is Mike with Galaxy Jams Reacts. We hope that you enjoyed that React video. Be sure to check out the links below of when we're going to be live streaming our next show and also how to watch full episodes. Please hit that subscribe button. Every single one helps.